Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial in Canva. Before we get started, what the heck is this? Oh my goodness. I live in a noisy neighborhood, you know, and it's just annoying. So let me just take it again. Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial in Canva. Before I get started, make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified anytime i upload new videos okay so let's jump straight into canva okay so here I, my goodness i almost made a mistake so here i am in canva and today we are going to look at how to create uh, mind-blowing shapes okay so i'll just create any dimension because uh i don't feel like going with 1080 by 1350 okay but just in case um you're wondering where have i been all this while i'm also asking myself the same question where have i been all this while so you know enough of the jokes let's get straight into it the thing is you know sometimes it can be uh annoying when you need you know certain shapes in canva and you don't have you know you can't find them and the question now gets to be how do i find these shapes today i have a solution for you how you can find these shapes is you creating them yourself okay so let's just see how we can combine some few shapes maybe about three or four you know kind of like things and we'll see what we can do okay so let's just start building things <laughs> i know i don't think i'm a carpenter in mason but you know i'm not a constructor but let's see so this is um a square shape okay and i'll adjust a little bit and i can bring i don't know if it's a polygon look i don't know i forgot all of these things in school but let's say we wanted an interesting shape this is looking interesting okay maybe let me change the colors then you can see the difference okay but no it's too obvious so i'll keep it this way so all we have to do now is to duplicate no not this one to duplicate the um one two three four five six the six sided shape okay maybe that'll be the best way to swerve before you can keep saying that oh he doesn't even know his shapes excuse me please okay so you can see now this makes um this just creates um, an interesting shape so let's say we wanted to go crazy a little bit i can turn this to 90 degrees wait first of all i want to use the same size let me delete this and ctrl c ctrl v and please if you are wondering what is ctrl c ctrl v uh it's very easy and very simple all i'm trying to do is right click copy which is ctrl plus c and right click paste which is ctrl plus v I'm used to shortcuts that's why I just go ctrl c ctrl v you know so now we are just creating interesting shapes here in canva okay this looks like a chevrolet um logo kind of you know but you know just play uh, let's say you wanted to make a cross canva doesn't have a cross it has a cross but let's say you wanted a custom made cross you can uh, you know create it in canva so this looks like a catholic cross in a way so this is the first um you know shape we've made interesting the second one i want us to do is i'll just duplicate this and delete all of this you know yeah then i add the square again and i can bring this right angle triangle at least i didn't forget this one okay and one thing you have to do is you always have to make sure they are you know the same length okay and the easiest way to do it is you just once they come on the same line let me just increase this you know we use the guideline to assist us just to tell us okay they are both on the same line then i can reduce you know the length and it also tells us okay so now they have the same length and i can just take them close or i can marry them okay i think it's a nice word what do you think awesome yes you also like it nice so we can just duplicate this and i can keep this maybe um 90 okay then i can take it so you see even though this shape may be available in canva but just in case it's not in canva i don't want to now go in searching for shapes but we are just creating things on our own just to 
um, let you know that if you can't find it in Canva, what you have to do is to create it. Okay, so you can see now we are creating interesting things in Canva, and I hope you are already enjoying it. Okay, so this is the second shape I want us to to do. Okay, now the third example is we are going to see let me delete this and let me delete this so this is another custom shape we've made right now in canva so we've made about uh three or four custom shapes or so i'm not counting so maybe you can assist me you know by counting and just let me know how many okay so let me just awesome this also looks interesting okay and if i want to go crazy because i love to go crazy i'll just do something like this to create a pattern sort of okay and i can bring all of this here and i can reduce the size uh you know let me just control c and control v how can this be doing this to me control c control v what's happening okay control c control v okay now i bring this here then this is what we'll be having okay then maybe i can do it again to duplicate like seriously i can just control c control. but the easiest thing you can also do is um you know so if i put this here you know now we get to have an interesting looking shape okay so this is what we have and you know i just wanted to close the gap but if it's not allowing us there's no need to force ourselves so i think okay then let's push it then we can have something very cool okay so you can see it's just um us playing with ships right now and it's still looking cool okay so this is what i wanted to um share with you but i just hope you get the concept just play with shapes and maybe let me create something epic is my english correct okay let me just um give a climax to this tutorial so that it wouldn't be like no he just wasted you know 20 minutes of my time okay so i'll duplicate this again and i will delete this and i'll delete this delete and um maybe keep this like this let's i don't know what i want to do but i just hope you get what i'm trying to do okay then i just come to see country okay then i bring this down then um i can control c control v and i can bring this here and, you know, i don't want them to be close i would give some gap okay wow this is beautiful okay and i'll reduce the size a little bit let's say it was a logo and i'll just add some text and i'll say alpha lab yeah no that's it i can't spell lab yeah i hope i um spelled it correctly okay so i'll just change my text to my favorite font montserrat okay then i'll increase the size and increase okay then what i can do is i would want to keep them on the same oh what's happening okay no i think what i rather have to do is to reduce the size of this okay no, let me increase sometimes it can be confusing but you know like don't get bored at me so this can be a sample logo or i can just change this one to uh you know like right now it's just okay since it's seriously trying to tell me i need to do it by myself or i need to do it manually i'll just push this here i'll say lab okay then i'll just change this to this okay so you have something like this you know like i hope i blew your mind if i didn't just let me know and i'll try to blow your mind um in my next tutorial okay so mm, okay so this is cool don't mind the background 
uh, some silly people okay so you see what we've created very interesting and i hope i can sell this to you for um one million dollars okay it's a cool logo you can have for your lab a science lab trying to come up with atomic bombs or things like that you know yeah so i hope you found this video useful the name is benjamin and i will see you but before you go i want you to know that look i really want to know you i really want you to send me a message i am desperate to see messages from you okay so you can hit me up on instagram african geeks as simple as that send me a message say hey your video is crazy i love this this is what i was able to create and i'll be happy to see it and even to share it on my feed so you know feel free relax enjoy i hope you enjoyed this video you know i'm trying to be serious but uh yeah the name is benjamin and always remember there is no limit to creativity <laughs> yeah so i'll see you in my next video